Hello, the gentleman gamer here, and today I'm playing Eve Online on the test server. And today I wanted to show you guys a feature that CCP has been working on uh, that I was not aware <laughs> they were working on, um, and it's a, uh, a new scanning interface. Now, from the looks of it, it looks like they're using um, the beta map. If you've been playing for the last few months, you know CCP has been working on uh, a new map to replace the old one. Um, we'll take a look at it real quick here. Let's reorient it real quick. Yep, there it is. Uh, it looks a little sleeker than the, the old one, a little prettier, uh, but it has had some performance issues, uh, which seems for the most part CCP has uh, fixed. Um, it look, it, I, remember, I remember getting some serious frame rate issues. And it is dropping still a little bit, but not as bad as before, so they have been improving it. Uh, but the interface they're working on, the scanning interface, is pretty much made just to scan things. So, let's take a look at it real quick. And how you access it is that you uh, go through here, and this probe scan button, you hold control, and you click on it, and this pops up. As you can see, it uh, looks very similar to the new beta map, but the difference is they have this... Um, uh, this probe uh, scanner window built into the map, which is very, very cool. And the reason I think it's very cool is you can resize this to any size you want, pretty much. Let's see how small we can make it. Let's see here. Um, I think that's it. You can make, you can make it this small if you like. <laughs> Just put it over here if you want. And you can um, scan. I guess if you get used to scanning this way, I guess you could scan in a window this small. And then you can get rid of this one. I have, I usually had Z-Scan and the Probe Launcher uh, window connected here on one um, one window. But I guess if you have it integrated into, into the map itself, then you can just take this off and keep my D-Scan open the whole time. You can scan, I'll just go like this, I'll pull one of these maybe, <laughs> and scan, and then you can D-Scan. So, but for this purposes, let's make it big. Uh, I'm not used to scanning a window that small just yet. So let's make it big so you guys can see it. Bigger that over there and over there. I think that's big enough. So let's take actually take a look here. Let's see if we can actually scan anything down. See if there's any bugs. Oh, um, let's get rid of some of these anomalies. How do we do that here? Uh, recover active probes. Reconnect. Destroy. Uh, filter. Oh, there we go. All right, cool. Let's lock the probes out. Alright, uh, I think it seems working pretty well. We did get some frame rate drop right there, uh, about, uh, about down to 45, 50 instead of 60. So there is some frame rate drop, but it does feel smooth still. So let's uh, continue scanning here. Let's, um, which one should we go for here, guys? Um, this one. That's the one I want to go for. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can actually um, narrow it down just yet. Let's uh, just, uh, just scan, make an initial scan, see how close we can get to uh, 100%. <coughs> oh, sorry guys. <clears throat> Alrighty. Alright, which one do we pick? We pick this one. Alright. Now, if I remember properly, the old map, if you double clicked on, on uh, this one like we did before, uh, the other ones will disappear, but it seems like these ones are staying, which is kind of, kind of, kind of annoying. Because especially if you have a lot of signatures to scan down, having all these there is annoying. Uh, but I guess I could, I can just zoom into the one I want to use, uh, and it kind of shows me which one I'm looking at. So I guess uh, maybe we can just ignore it. Yeah, we can ignore it. This is one of the other ones for now. And we'll stick with this one. And let's see if we can find any glitches with this. Um, the old beta map, well not the old beta map, but the beta map had some glitches uh, which people found out while they were scanning. So let's take a look so we can find any issues. I'm getting some weird icon jumping. I'm not sure what that's about. Maybe it's just me turning around, uh, turn the map around and they're moving, but it looks kind of weird. I'm not sure that's a glitch or not, or just me not knowing what they're supposed to be doing. But We'll continue. Alrighty. Oh, no, I don't want to move probe 8. It's looking pretty good though. It's feeling pretty smooth. A little bit of slowness. I see, I mean, I'm noticing a slight frame rate drop to, let's see, 50, 48, 49. 
A little more while it's loading down the 33. But still uh, pretty good. Oh, and we got a wormhole. Fantastic. All right. All right, see if we can get out of this wormhole. Uh, for some reason, I was in this wormhole last time I was in, on the test server. I'm not sure why, I don't remember. But let's try to find our way out. Hopefully we can find a, uh, a wormhole to high sec. Or any sec <laughs> out of the wormhole space. 80. All right. Still, I'm not seeing any any really big glitches yet, other than the moving of icons. I'm not sure what's going on with that. But so far, I'm thinking it's pretty good. I'm enjoying this. I like this a lot better um, than having to use the probe scanner on the side. And if I get really get used to it, I can probably get rid of the probe scanner on the side and just use the built-in one and save me some window space, which is always good. Move that back down. Let's see if we can get to that wormhole. Uh, right after this last scan. Okay. Oh, we got it. So let's um, let's warp to there, and let's pull the probes in, and there we go. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I'm actually liking it. It was pretty cool. I like the new uh, the new feature, and it's they're still iterating on it, of course. So we're probably going to see a lot more changes with it coming up. Uh, but I am digging the uh, integrated feel of all this. So uh, as soon as it comes out on T Cool, I will be using it, and uh, we'll see what they, uh, what they, how how they work it, how they, uh, how the la final product actually looks. But uh, let's jump through this wormhole, and I'll show you another feature they've been working on, which um, I think is pretty cool. Some people don't like it, but I think it's pretty cool. Actually, I'll show you two. I think I can show you two in this instance. Now, this took us to another uh, wormhole system. And look at that. Look at this. We have a jump cloak timer now. <laughs> now it says residual effects from your, from your most recent jump have rendered your ship invisible. This effect dissipates after a limited amount of time or if the ship moves. So look, you have a countdown now. You know exactly when, how much uh, jump cloak you have left. So no more guessing. <laughs> and some people don't like this. Some people oh, you're taking you know the, uh, the difficulty out of the game. Uh, but I think this is great. You don't have to explain to noobs, uh, new players. I'm a brand newbie, so every time they're they're asking what's what, what cloak, well, why am I cloaked? You know, how long am I cloaked for? You can just look at the timer now. <laughs> it's way simpler. So I think that's very cool. And uh, you know what else? Let's let's check another timer they added in. All right before we close the video out, that I think is going to be very helpful for wormhole people. All right, doing the other side now. And look at the wormhole, and there you go. It tells you how long you're polar po polarized for. Now, if you ever, if you have been in wormholes before, if you jump through the same wormhole uh, back in and back out, uh, you get an effect called polarization. Now, this means right here you can tell um, three minutes, thirty-two seconds. This means you can't use this wormhole, jump back in for three minutes and twenty-eight seconds. But before, you had to kind of guess. <laughs> <laughs> or kind of sit at the hole and keep pressing enter over and over again <laughs> until it lets you in. But now you know. So I think it's much better. You can actually make, you actually plan your strategy out better if you're in wormhole space and you do get polarized. Um, and in that way you can better better make better decisions, I think, when uh, trying to enter a wormhole or fight on a wormhole or not fight on a wormhole. So again, some people think this is making the game too easy. But I think uh, it's kind of things necessary. It's really, it's really annoying when you have to try to guess if you're polarized or not. Um, but, uh, but that's it, guys. That is my video. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like the video, leave a like. If you like the content, of course, subscribe. And fly safe. And fly brave.